Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Guess what we're checking out today? We are checking out Signature Solar out of Texas. Signature Solar has this panel on sale for $279. And when I say panel, I mean panel support, a ground support. Now I called them on Monday. These guys were awesome. They actually got it shipped on Monday. It came in two packages. One will be here tomorrow and one is here today. We're going to get a look at that right now. So here's what comes in the kit, guys. We're talking a whole box full of goodies. And these I haven't opened up yet. These are the purlins that go across, the struts that go across. So these two connect the two sections together on the purlins. And they have teeth. They have a washer in here with teeth that bite for grounding purposes. So you got two of those. You have these L brackets with teeth on them so that they bite and don't slide. They come with Allen headed bolts, lock washers, flat washers, and nuts. We have this whole package of hardware with Allen headed bolts, lock washers, flat washers, and nuts. We have the cement expansion for uh, drilling and expanding, putting studs in the ground so you can mount these on cement blocks. We have the end brackets. The end brackets are L brackets that I call them L, but I guess they're a Z bracket that hold the panels from the ends. And then we have the center mounts that clamp the panels in the center. We have this extruded aluminum U-channel that will hold the beams together. So these mount onto the beams. And we have the beams. This is the vertical, has two holes in it. Very nice extruded aluminum with stiffener ribs inside to give it stiffness where it needs to be stiff. And those mount vertically. And then we have the extension bars that go across to give the bottom support. Then we have these beautiful, nice anodized aluminum mounts for the, the ground mount or however you're gonna mount them. No, mine are gonna be different. But, so they have the two holes there that mount through that bar. This bar goes in like this. Those two holes go together. And then this other bar goes out like that. And we still got one box to open up. And we got these longer bars in here. Let me get this box open right here. So this is the package. It came very well packaged. We'll see what it looks like inside. It looks like it should be in good shape. All this packaging. And it was good packaging. But I got a damage on this end right here. And I'm telling you that it had this end cap on there and it was packaged really nice. But it still came damaged. Now well, let's get the rest of this open. See if anything else got damaged. These are have hard paper, they have cardboard corners to protect them, and they have end cap cardboard corners to protect them. So it had protection on the ends. I'll just have to put that on the end that I'm not gonna mount anything to so you get four of these and 
and they look really nice. All right. This little foot. See there? I don't know. It actually missed the bracket. So when you put this in, make sure to get both sides of the foot engaged. Otherwise, a little hard to film here, but if you don't get that foot engaged completely, then when the wind blows, it might skew it and uh, have it unload on you. Uh, let's see if I can focus right down this bracket. Yeah, right in there. You got to make sure that that foot gets... Uh, hold on, guys. Right there. Got to make sure that that foot clamps on because it could clamp on the top and not on the bottom if you accidentally miss it. So the deal is we want to get them equal. Now these are supposed to be 51 inches apart. You follow your directions. So here is half of the EG4 bright mount from Signature Solar put together. It comes in uh, four, four panels and this one is just half of it, which right now I only have two panels. So you can see this nice extruded aluminum purlins. You can see the nice Allen headed bolts and all the hardware. You see the teeth on here and there's teeth on these L brackets to keep this thing stable. It has these nice extruded aluminum brackets with the uh, stand and the lower leg. Now right now it's at a little bit of an angle because it's not bolted down to anything. But as you go along you can see you can see this tubing is really substantial and the same goes for this lower purlin now this lower purlin has the same setup with the teeth on the side of the purlin and the teeth on the L brackets so when you give it a little bit of of course it's not bolted down when you give it a little bit of a lateral movement it is a sturdy sturdy piece and it's not even completely bolted together yet. It is semi-tight. But as for wiggle, it looks to be substantial. So these purlins that hold the panels, they are pretty rigid. I think they're going to do the job really nice. So there's a look at the Signature Solar EG4 bright mount.